I'm not interested in playing your goofy games, Zelkov. Just tell me what you're after. Why, Yunaka, what game do you think I am playing? The stalking game, by the look of it. Don't act like you don't know the rulebook backwards. So you've noticed, have you? How curious. You have the perceptive powers of a hunter. Do you perchance hunt for sport? Or for money? <laughs> At last, the truth is written on your face. I'd suspected you made your trade in violence. That is why I've stalked you, as you put it. Suspicious persons ought to be observed. <sighs> okay, I'll admit it. You've got some chops. Now, what say we rattle your brains around a bit and see what shakes out? Oh my. Be gentle. You've got the same killer instinct I do. It practically oozes from your pores. Like slime. So tell me, have we had similar careers? That does appear to be the case. Great. Well, let's not speak of it again, okay? My work is in the past. I'm happily retired. I too have washed my hands of that life. So we have that in common too, huh? Well, let's not make a thing of it. Look, here's me not making a thing. See ya. About what we discussed previously, Yunaka. That's so weird. I told you not to make a thing of it, and yet here you are! Making things! That message was well received. I only wished to discuss one more detail. You said that a killer instinct oozes from my pores. I believe you used the word slime. What did you mean by that? <sighs> Please. It is crucial to my well-being that I am able to curate the image I present to others. Fine. Look, you're a hunter. Everything you do and say is about the kill. Could you indulge me with an example? Okay, sure. Take your eyes, for example. They're ice cold, calculating. Normal people don't go around evaluating what folks' lives are worth. That's an assassin thing. You're always probing for weaknesses, too. Considering vectors of attack, right? That is not what I... Seriously, bud? You're doing it right now. Look at yourself. Tell me you're not poised to counter a knife thrust from my dominant hand. You're constantly positioning to maximize your tactical advantage. Don't think I don't see it. Perceptive. Regular people don't think about violence so much in everyday life. That's what I meant. To think that I should be so transparent to you. Sharp eyes were part of the old job, as I'm sure you know. I appreciate your insightful analysis. I will reflect on what you've said. Yeah, don't mention it. Hey, Zelkov, would you mind if we talked a teensy bit more about our trade? Why the sudden change of heart? You were quite clear that you didn't wish to discuss it. Yeah, yeah, I know what I said. I was there the whole time. I was worried talking about it too much would be... too much. But it hasn't been. The opposite, actually. Talking about it's helped me get distance. Perspective, you know? Care to elaborate? Look, people like us don't often get the chance to speak candidly. It could be a good thing. Perhaps you're right. But even so, what is left for us to converse about exactly? The story of how I came to such a profession is not one I am keen to tell. I'm afraid it's a rather tragic tale, ill-suited for any sort of pleasant conversation. Yeah, honestly, that whole chapter of my life was pretty dang awful. It was the same for me. Not even the most difficult challenges we face today compare. But I would venture to suppose that you did not choose to embark upon a life of killing. What makes you say that? I get the sense merely by observing that you genuinely have no regrets. From this observation, I inferred you may not have been responsible for your circumstances. Good inference. Moreover, your present self was formed as a result of growing apart from your past. In a way, then, if you are the blossom, your past is the fertilizer which nourished you. That's... really insightful, actually. Thanks. Words have weight, Zelkov. And every one of yours is big and heavy. But it's funny. Hearing them somehow makes me feel lighter. Maybe it's our common bond. You flatter me. I've been thinking about what I'll do when all this is over. When the world's finally peaceful, what I want most is to go someplace where I can kick back, put my feet up, luxuriate. I will say that does sound lovely. If and when that happens, I hope you'll drop in on me once in a while. 
I would gladly make an appearance. There will be conversations only you and I can have. Oh, yes! Love it! We'll do each other's hair, trade weapon factoids, whatever we want! Indeed. Let us work toward that eventuality as our common goal from now on. It's a promise, then. If we've got the same dark past, we may as well share a bright future. <laughs> <laughs>